Now that we know that we need the reorder buffer to hold the results of instructions until they're ready to finish in program order, let's see what it looks like. The reorder buffer is a table of entries. In each entry, we keep at least three fields. One says what the value produced by the instruction is. This is the value that we are not writing to the register. When the instruction finishes, it will now write its value to the reorder buffer when it broadcasts. We need a bit here to tell us whether we actually have a valid value here or not, because we will give a reorder buffer entry to the instruction before it actually writes the result. And finally, in the end, we have to write this value to an actual register, and for that, we need to know when we do such a write, when we move this value from the reorder buffer to a register, what register are we going to write to? This is a reorder buffer that can hold up to eight instructions, and we keep instructions in the reorder buffer in program order. So we need two pointers. One pointer tells us when we issue the next instruction, where does it go? Another one tells us when we finally complete in program order the next instruction, which instruction is it going to be? So in this particular reorder buffer, the instructions that are actually valid are starting from the oldest one to the newest one, this. The even newer instructions are going to be added here, and the oldest one will complete from here. So these five instructions are actually in program order in the reorder buffer.